Hey everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis, and today's video is going to be a little thrift store doll hunt slash haul. So here's the thrift store hunt footage. So I've discovered this store, and as we drive up, there's an entire yard sale full of toys outside. So that sounds like a good sign. It even says they have 1950s to 2022 toys. Very excited about this one. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't come up on Google Maps. At least it didn't for me. So, wow. Um, so everything out here is a dollar, which mostly is probably not going to be pertinent to me, but we'll we'll look through here. Let me give you all a quick pan. Hopefully they're okay with me filming in there. I'm kind of scared when it's a smaller store, you know? Um, but, you know, there's an Elsa. How much are they? How do you know? Oh, the little spread traps. Wait, how much do things... Oh yeah, do you want one? Can you send a picture to Dean? If they respond. How are things priced? I'm confused. Ooh. Good. They were super friendly and excited to share stuff with me. So they had opened the store back in January, I believe. So they're still working on organization. And these drawers are where they keep the dolls. And they keep them here because the ones that, like, I guess they've deemed more collectible. She doesn't want to have out where they're going to get, like, thrown around and messed with, you know? So they're in these drawers where you could still, like, pre-use them, you know? But they're not out where they're getting played with and messed with. Um, and I'm just looking through them. She was telling me they have some brats and um, older Barbies and stuff, but she doesn't 100% know where they are right now because, again, they're a pretty new store and they're reorganizing constantly. And she says she doesn't have enough space, so she's hoping to get a new space um, once the lease is up on this one. And these drawers aren't the best, but it's okay. Um, and you can see some, like, Disney store dolls in here. Lots of cool stuff. She was looking for the Descendants um, for some reason. Um, and they were in another drawer, but yeah, a lot of dolls, they're individually bagged, so they stay in nice shape. I'm, I got this Tinkerbell, um, because mine had, well, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, but lots of nice, well-kept dolls. I was tempted by her, but I already have, um, her dress, and that's not, I'm looking for the 2013 Ariel specifically, and I don't, that didn't look like the one that I had anyway. It could have been 2013, I have no idea, but I'm looking for one that looks like the one that I had because Brett's Rats chewed the nose off of mine. <laughs> um, and then this drawer had some kind of more recent stuff. I was really tempted by that doll you're seeing there. That one is from one of the Tinkerbell movies, and yeah, she was kind of a cool find. I feel like I never see her, but it looked like she was actually priced, um, and I think that's a fair price compared to eBay, but... Um, I was I was good, and then you could see the Dragon Mal doll, all kinds of fun dolls here. Um, yeah, and then we pop up and look at some things up here. Got some more dolls up here where they're, you know, out of reach. Some Kellys over here. This is where we found a couple of Bratz, but they were Bratz boys and Bratz babies, so I wasn't super interested. You can see the Na 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 doll, some Dreamtopia mermaids, some Fashionistas, all kinds of stuff in here very fun there's so many things every time i turned around i saw something new it was so exciting <laughs> um and yeah pretty fun the big thing the store had going on was this amazing wall of plushies and um hopefully i moved slow enough here i'm planning to when i go back to the store get a full um better tour going on look at the snuffleupagus i really like that one and the teen titans go starfire there's all kinds of cool plushies in here i do have a very specific plushie wish list um, none of which I found. They're all pretty um, obscure, I guess, but uh, maybe someday they'll roll up in here. And since everything is arranged by color, it shouldn't take too, too long. And then over here, we can see like the little stuff, which I want to dig through the Littlest Pet Shop furniture. There's sorry, it's a lot. I want to dig through the Littlest Pet Shop furniture at some point because um, some of mine is probably missing or in bad condition. Um, and this is where I actually pick out some pet shops to get. I actually have a box Littlest Pet Shop collection, so I might come back for the bird. I just, I already have him out of box you know so i'm not i'm not planning to add too much to my little pet shop box collection you know it's just something i happen to have um yeah just picking out some pets i don't already have very exciting stuff um and then i was interested in that cat i thought it was cute <laughs> and then i found a shopping basket which made my life a heck of a lot easier um and now we're down here look there's just there's dolls everywhere different dolls what is that um doll by the way she's very perplexing to me i think she's mark disney like i've never seen her before maybe she's one of the like weird disneyland paris ones or something i don't know let me know i was very confused <laughs> and then um some other stuff i picked out that tinkerbell for some reason she just spoke to me 
<laughs> and I do have some extra Tinkerbell outfits, so I'm sure she'll find one. And, you know, some Polly Pocket and Disney Princess Polly Pocket stuff. It's an American girl and a Wally Wisher. More Wally Wishers. So, Kit. Bratz babies, Jade. Big babies. Hey, good job. It looked like a brat. Oh, the whole Elsa section. Love it. <laughs> And a ton of dolls over here. Oh my gosh, look at this dress. What is it, 98? 98. <laughs> Why is he just a man? <laughs> I thought it was uh, I thought it was a Xenomorph at first. We got some holiday barbers. This is a Disney style it series like Bell, right? It does look like a Xenomorph, but not in a good way. Ooh. Most popular girls in school character. <laughs> That's what she is first before anything else. We have Rockin' Royals. I already have her. So cool. What is this? I don't know. This like thing. Interesting. Over here were some box dolls, which is always exciting. I was kind of tempted by her, but she doesn't really fit any of the themes that I kind of collect around, but she was really beautiful. Um, really pretty face on that one. Pink label. Fun. Um, lots of different things. Lot, lots of Skylanders. Skylanders flood places like this. <laughs> and then some more. That working woman one was tempting. She was really cute. Um, and some stuff that still hasn't been sorted yet. Betty Boop. Um, the Garfield section was hilarious. I love it. I actually had one of those Garfields myself. Um, and then Brett picks out this, I believe, Burger King Blastoise. Um, still haven't confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that was one of those ones, but super, super cool. Um, I don't actually have that one. I have quite a few of those, but not that one, so pretty cool to add. Will go well with my Charizard one. And, yeah, really nice plushy wall, really fun. You could get lost in here. Oh my gosh, I walked right past these multiple times. Well, hello, darlings. How is this mostly G1? That is insane. <gasps> we got a little G5 hiding in here. Look at these. Well, I haven't even unboxed my ponies yet, and I'm gonna... <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Look at them. And some of them are even identified. This is a really, really pristine glory. Not a repro, by the way. I know it's hard to tell from uh, footage, but I can tell very clearly. Pretty sure I have her. Yeah, I do. Um, ooh, the Sia. Ooh, ooh, I don't have you. Ooh, pony restoration. I have so many pony restorations to do, though. Definitely getting her. Oh, I have her. But do you talk? No. Nice gingerbread. Is this a... F what? Why is this a flat foot bow tie? Is this a Nirvana? <gasps> Maybe. Ooh, look, Goldilocks. <laughs> oh my gosh look at all these g1s baby huh this is twilight this was a twilight's original pony i don't have you yeah you can get anything you want babe <laughs> it's a really cute this is the sundance that came with megan uh, there's ponies like hiding in the back Cotton candy? Oh, are they ponies? Or like dolls? 80s ponies. Yes! <laughs> and I have these that I have. Oh my goodness. I've got these I haven't had a chance to put their clothes on yet. Oh yeah, OMGs! Which I have yeah, lots of clothes swag. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I try to dress them and fix their hair and stuff. Lady Diva. But I haven't had a chance to do these yet. Strawberry shortcake! Oh my gosh! I used to have like 30 of these and then my dad thought I didn't like them so he sold them at a store and I was so, cause I had the 80s ones and I was so crushed about it. Who is this? You're so cute. Oh, that's a color wonder or whatever from Crayola. They're so cute. Oh my God. Oh, I'm really tempted. I had so many and I loved them and you have a bunch of the ones I had.
this still is so pretty. No matter how big or small your business is, earn back when you spend, get exclusive offers, and pay for them. Some monster high down here. Care Bears. That's the era I want to collect, but I'm holding off until I know I have space for them. And then some precious moments. Quite a few, actually. Little's Pet Shops. Mm. I love you, Little's Pet Shops. Dang, this is one from a set that I had as a kid, and I traded one away, and my mom got so mad, so I want to get the one I traded away back. But it's not this one, it's the monkey from the set. <laughs> and then the Lewis Pet Shop furniture. And this is G3.5 My Little Pony, I think. Doesn't look Little's Pet Shop to me. Lewis Pet Shops? I wish I caught this on camera, guys, but look! These were this mystery toy that my neighbor gave me when I was little, and I loved them, and it took me years to track down what they were. Um, they're- oop, I dropped one. I dropped- thank you, bye. They're called Zizzlingers, and they're not really worth anything on eBay, to be honest, but I wanted them so bad. I want to get them back someday, because the three that I had- oh, look! <laughs> it's pop vinyl, though. Ugh. But anyway, um, I've been trying to get these back forever, because I gave them to my stepmom, and then they went missing, so- <sighs> But yep, you're coming home with me. Zizzlingers. And then there's a Knuckles up here, babe. He looks wrong with his shoes not painted. Oh, those go to the same thing, I bet. He has... All the guys are here. Oh, so they used to have a board of some sort? I think maybe. Are they movie? Yeah, they're all movie. They're all Sonic 2. There's a cute posket. All right, guys, here's the quiz for the video. What is this man's name? Quickly. I'll give you a minute. Yukon Cornelius. Off the dome. America's thrift store. Haven't been in a week and they tend to stock quite a bit, so hopefully we find some good stuff. So we went back to Second and Charles because Brett wanted to check it out. We also stopped at two America's thrift stores. I didn't find anything at the first one, so there's no footage of it. But the second one, which was the one in my town I did find some stuff at, which I'll be sharing with you guys. And then the other store, we were looking for antique malls and I remembered that I had seen an ad for a store called Nostalgia on Facebook Marketplace. And although the description didn't fit what I was looking for, the Facebook Marketplace ad was promising. So we went ahead and went and yay, it's, it's a dream. It's the perfect store. It's just like Anna's Toy Depot back in Austin, which I have been wanting for for so long. And the owner was super cool. Um, took down my phone number and stuff, and I'm hoping to help her out with stuff maybe in the future. Um, and she was more than happy to let me film in there too, so very grateful for that. Um, anyways, so the first stuff I'm going to show you um, are from Second and Charles and America's Thrift Stores. Um, and I'm just going to show you. So first I guess I'll show you this. I have a friend, Dean, who I strongly dislike. <laughs> um is really into precious moments and i told them oh well i actually find precious moments all the time at thrift stores because i did brett is interested in these so when i see them i take note you know i'm like oh precious moments dolls and since i told dean that i have not found them again so i saw this one has a tag has extra stuff i was like okay i'm gonna pick this up so hope you hate it i hope it ruins your life by owning it um and he's cute he's a like air force boy or something it said on, yeah, Air Force Boy. So, he's very cute. <laughs> um, all right, and then this was kind of an interesting find, too. I've been looking at these again. This is a Pose doll. Um, no idea the specific maker for this one, um, but these are stockinette dolls, and they were popular in kind of like the 60s, 70s, 80s. This is probably a little bit more of a recent one. Not recent as in, like, now, but, you know, like, probably closer to the 70s or 80s. I'm not sure, though. I don't know... Um, there's not a lot of good resources for these, but these are so cool because they're poseable down to their little fingers. So as you, for some reason, they tend to have this pose. I'm not sure why they always do that. Maybe it's just a pretty finger pose. I don't know, but you can pose the fingers. It's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, this one was just really beautiful. She's in really good condition and she was, I think, 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents. So I picked her up. I have a couple of these already, but they're in bad condition and I was planning on repairing them but it just never happened. And I'm still hunting for, my mom had one when she was a kid and I really want to find that doll that she had as a kid someday, even if it's just a photograph of it to satisfy that uh, curiosity, but 
haven't found anything yet, unfortunately. I will find her someday, Mom, I swear. All right, next are a couple of books that I picked up. I, um, <laughs> there's a pile of books I bought last time behind me. This store gets me so excited to look through the books. So first, this is a series that I think maybe I've vaguely heard of before, but I've never seen before. So this is some kind of like Disney fairies older kid novel, um, as opposed to these ones, which are kind of like early readers, not necessarily like when you're first reading, but when you're first getting into chapter books, that's kind of the age group that these are for. They're actually amazing though, so I recommend reading them no matter how old you are. 22. Um, and then this one is kind of geared at an older demographic, I feel. Um, and it's just a bigger novel. And this is Fairy Haven and the Quest for the Wand. So excited about that. And there's actually two books in this series, I believe, or this is the second book or something. Not 100% sure, but it does say, like, this is from the author of Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg. So I assume that's another book in this series. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so I'm laughing really hard at this. So these are the Monster High Lucy Harrison series. And I was saying how I've been trying to find them, but for some reason they haven't been showing up at used bookstores, which it would make sense for them to be there. Um, but I figured it was because they were super popular, and that's partially true, I'm sure, but the other reason is that I was looking in the kids section, and they're classified as young adult books, which is surprising because the Ever After High books, from my memory of reading them in high school, were actually reasonably mature, and they're in the kids section, so I just assumed the Monster High ones would be, which sometimes they are, but the young adult books section yielded both of these, so I got the hard covers for The Ghoul Next Door and Where There's a Wolf There's a Way, so. Yay! Cool! Never gonna find the first book in hardcover, but this is pretty cool that I found both of them. Um, and that's very cool. Anyway, from now on I will be checking the young adult section and the kids section. Cause the, the Lissy Harrison, like there's a huge section for her in the young adult section, but there was only a few in the kids section. I was very confused because I know she's a really popular author and she was when I was in middle school, so I imagine a lot of those books would end up at these used bookstores, so I was very confused, but that's what happened. <laughs> Alrighty, and then this is from America's Thrift Store, so this is Fame Queen, and I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to pick her up just because I, I do have her, but she has her arms and her underclothes, so I figured that she would be a good one to grab, and she seems to be the one from the multi-pack, but... I don't really know how to tell 100%, but here she is. She's super, super cute, and I can experiment with this one. I can, like, change her hair up. I can change her outfit up, and I love that she has the prosthetic arm. That is so, so cool. That I think OMG's done that twice now, which is amazing. Amazing. And she's Lady Gaga, so cool. Had to have her. <laughs> and then this one's very exciting. I've been wanting these for a long time. So these are Fairy Tale High. During the Monster High, like, doll renaissance that happened, when Monster High came out, like, all companies were trying to get in on that market share that Monster High created. So this was one of those. I think these are Jack specific, aren't they? They have Winx bodies. I don't know for sure. Let's see. Are they by a company I've never heard of? What is SK? Okay, I have no idea. I mean, come on. This is a Jack specific Winx body. I don't know. Weird. Um, anyway, uh, these are Fairytale High, and I'm pretty confident I do already have this one, um, but I don't have her dress, so. Um, also, her head is pretty, um, malformed right now, I believe. I need to boil her, um, but she needs a lot of work, like, her hair is not in good condition, but I have been marketing, or, like, I've been operating on the assumption that I will just find these at thrift stores and I don't have to worry about it, but they've actually been really difficult to get a hold of, so... Um, now, anytime I find them even nude, I'm picking them up. Normally with a doll line like this, I would wait until I found them with clothes, but at this point, it's been years, and I've found maybe four total in the past, like, four years of actively looking for them, so now I have two. <laughs> Incomplete, but I still enjoy them, and maybe someday I'll find their clothes. Um, okay, this was just fun. Olimar Amiibo. I've, okay, so I thought that he was still very rare, which I don't I don't mind because I bought him for the going rate. This was $15. Maybe a little expensive, but it's fine. Um, Pikmin is my all-time favorite series of all time, uh, video game series and franchise in general. Um, Pikmin 2 is my favorite video game of all time. And I have the original Smash Brothers Pikmin Amiibo, er, the original Smash Brothers Olimar and Pikmin Amiibo from back when it first came out. Uh, and that one's worth a lot of money, but I kept mine in box just because I wasn't really using the Amiibo. 
Um, but I really wanted one out of box, and of course it was really expensive, so I was really annoyed. Apparently they were released them at some point, which is good, because it meant I could get another one, so. But I thought it was a better find than it was, but I'm not mad at it. Um, and that was at Second and Charles, actually. And so was this. This is a LOL Tiny Toys. I think you build the glamper? Is that what this is? It was $2. It was on clearance, so I grabbed it. Is that what it is? You build the glamper? If so, that's cool. I don't have the glamper, but anyway. Neat. <laughs> is it just letting me know, like, you could get the glamper? Couldn't tell you. I have no idea, but... Pretty cool. We had those at Ollie's for a minute, I think, and I wanted to get them, but they sold very quickly. And then related to LOL, I got this at America's Thrift Store. Uh, this was $2 and it's just a bag of LOL surprise clothing. And I thought, you know, this could be useful for me. When, um, if I ever find any that need clothes, this is a lot of clothes. I'm pretty sure I see some of my baby stuff in here, which is cool. Um, a lot of fun lol tot pieces and it's so sweet because there were several bags there was one bag that was just the bottles and stuff which i don't want like i did not want them um i don't know if i recorded finding these actually but pretty cool oh that goes to one of the pets i think that's cool um but this bag is like labeled clothes and it's in the sandwich bag so clearly whoever donated it like took the time to sort all this stuff out which was so cute and sweet um Alrighty, and then next we have a Shoppies doll. Good timing. So she was a dollar at Second and Charles. I guess she was originally two dollars, but she was on clearance. Saved a whole two, saved a whole dollar on her. Um, I have no idea why she ended up on clearance because I just think people don't go there to buy dolls and she's not in perfect condition. So people are like not interested, but I think this is one of the like royal ones, but I don't know. Wasn't there like a royal series? Couldn't tell you, but she's really cute. If she's missing something, it's a headpiece. Um, but yeah, I really need to fix her hair, but she's cute. She's cute. And now I have a couple of shoppies in my collection. So she was a good addition. If I had to guess what her theme was, I'd say like, um, like an ice cream or like a strawberry shortcake or something. Um, I don't know. Very cute though. And then this is the last one. I'm a bit confused about this one. So this is a vinyl bodied vinyl head rainbow bright doll. So I, I'm thinking this is some kind of re-release because I don't believe this is an original one. I don't, just, I don't expect it to be an original one. It would be cool if it was, but I doubt it. Um, but let's investigate her. I mean, obviously it's going to be the original mold, so it says 1983. Aha! Yes, it is a re-release. From what year? Does not say what year, but it's a re-release of some sort, which is totally fine. Um, she's really cute, and I already have the Rainbow Bright um 2009 like teen dolls so she will go great with them and i thought she was super cute she comes with her boots she comes with her outfit her hair is still like styled she was a good find if she was an original one though because i would love to have specifically patio green from the original set also there's a mario odyssey shopping bag that i bought for brett for two dollars <laughs> isn't she cute I like Rainbow Bright. I feel like I never, I see the plushies occasionally and I'm not opposed to owning those, but I'm a doll person. I prefer like vinyl dolls most of the time. All right. This next store that I went to is the one I was talking to you guys about earlier called Nostalgia. And I have quite a little haul here to share with you guys from that store and very excited. So I'm just going to get right into it. And nothing was individually priced. You basically just make an offer and then the owner either contests or agrees with your offer. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. So this is the first doll that I got. And I do already have this one. This is the Disney Store Tinkerbell. Um, it could be marginally different than my current one. I have no idea. Um, I love these. First of all, the wing mechanism is awesome. Might have to do some wing surgery though, because this one has a bend in the wing, like a pretty solid crease. But I, the reason I bought this one, because again, I do already have her, is that she was stored on a shelf in our studio. Oh my God, I scratched my forehead just barely and it's like showing up. Um, anyway, I stored her on a shelf above Brett's rat cage. Brett moved his rat cage and it happened to be below my Disney fairy shelf. And we lived in a studio apartment. So I guess when one of us closed the door, she fell and they ate a bunch of her leg. So now I have another one with a perfect body um, that I got for a good price, which is great. Cause these dolls are weirdly difficult to find considering they were pretty normal release Disney store dolls. I guess they were somewhat limited. Um, and then this doll was actually the first thing I saw when I walked into the store. I wish that I was recording when I first walked in, but I didn't know what the, like, energy of the in inside of the store would be. Um, but it was Winter Break Skylar, and if you guys have been following me for a minute, you'll know that I have been specifically looking for another Winter Break Skylar doll. 
uh, so I'm very excited about her. I do need to fix her hair. Oh my gosh, I just noticed her hand is chewed off. <laughs> uh, no big deal. Um, I'm sure I can find another hand. But yeah, she was uh, really very cheap, so I'm very happy with her. And she came with this outfit as well as her second pair of pants and Poppy's sweater dress. So I was able to pick out clothes and those are what I picked. Um, and she's super cute. This is a really pretty one. I want to compare her to mine and see if maybe this was another first release or what's going on with this one But this one's super pretty and I'm very excited to have a double of her because again Like I said, I've been wanting a double of her. I really appreciate her hair. I think her hair is so gorgeous But I need to figure out how to fix it um, Then because I want to keep the ringlets This is the second bag. She put those other two dolls in that separate bag so that their hair wouldn't get messed up all right, so I got some little pet shop stuff. So this is a boxed little puzzle that comes with this frog. And I just thought this was super cute. And I actually have a boxed little pet shop collection. So I figured this would go well. It isn't perfect. Like it's basically open because of a rip that it has, but I can just tape this down and it will be perfectly fine for me. And this is super cute. And I love the frogs. So a good find and in box I couldn't resist, but I would have bought the frog regardless because I don't have him. And then this one is also in box. This is May May Reeves. Um, this is from the like Blythe Hub Show series, the you know the TV show that was on at the same time as Friendship is Magic, and she's really really cute. But look how the prototype almost looks like she's actually laying down. It could also just be the angle or the edit or something, but like so cute. And um, I'm not particularly interested in collecting all of these. I do actually really like this era, but. You know, there's a lot of Lil's Pet Shops. Um, I like how expressive these ones are. Not all of them are my favorite though. Some of them are a bit questionable, but I actually don't mind any of the reboots that Lil's Pet Shop has done. I actually kind of like all of them. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I want the cat specifically. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be leaving her in box yet though. Um, just depends, because I don't really have a lot from this era in box at all. Although I did just get one in box the other day, but I'm gonna be unboxing that, so. I don't know. Um, and then there's some more little pet shops in here. Um, let me see if I can dig them out. Here's one. So this is a, these are called border collies, right? Um, I didn't actually have this one, one of the cute freckled ones. So very excited to have this one. Um, yeah, cute green eyes. I love, I loved these ones when I was a kid, but I was mainly focused on, when I was a kid, and I was like getting to pick these out at the stores. I never wanted to pick out the cats or the dogs. I always wanted to pick out like the, the snails and the hermit crabs and the fish because I wanted to have like a diverse set of pets to play with. Um, and the dogs would come in multi-packs with the other pets anyway, normally. Um, but cats were my favorite, so I ended up with a lot of cats. Oh, rabbits were the priority though. I really wanted the rabbits. The rabbits were the best. Um, this one we actually bought for Brett. This is, I believe from Burger King? Was it Burger King or KFC? They both did Pokemon stuff. Um, from the year I was born, actually. Um, what restaurant were these for? If they were even for a restaurant, maybe I'm mistaken. Um, but it's one of those beanbag Gen 1 plushies, and he's super cute. He does have some of his, um, pupils rubbed off, but that's totally fine. And, um, my first Pokemon ever was actually a Squirtle, because I started with Pokemon Blue, and for some reason, I, well, I wanted a Charmander. But my brother convinced me that you had to pick the one that was on the cover of the game, because he wanted the Charizard. Um, but then I have a Pokemon that his Pokemon is weak to, I don't know, but he was like gatekeeping Charizard essentially. Um, but it's fine because Blastoise is really, really cool. So, um, this one's really cool to have and I have a ton of these. Some of the earliest pictures of me as a living human being are me sitting next to a bunch of these plush. I think because my parents must have bought them for my brother or something, but in my like early childhood bedroom there's pictures of me like near these. They wouldn't let me play with them I guess because I was a tiny, tiny baby. I don't know if these would be safe because they have the beans inside. Um, but. I was, this is super cute, and um, Brett picked him out. I wasn't, I was mainly going for dolls. You know, when I saw him, I was like, oh, cute, but I didn't pick him up, but Brett picked him up. All right, and then here's what I was talking about. I got Poppy's sweater dress and these winter break pants because Gabriella has claimed them, but I wanted another pair for Skylar, so now I have another pair. Um, and then I love this dress so much. Um, yeah, had to have it, so. Um, <laughs> The seller let me dig through some Rainbow High clothes that were in the closet with all the other Rainbow High dolls that they had for sale. Um, well, they didn't have the other Rainbow High dolls at that moment. They had River and they had Skylar and they said there were more Rainbow High dolls, but they sorted them somewhere and they couldn't find them. And I was like, it's totally fine. Skylar is a good one. Like, I really want Skylar. And then from what the clothing looked like, there weren't really a lot of other ones that I would have been like really excited to buy. Um, and then... We have this dog, no idea what this is. Maybe a Shih Tzu, I don't know. 
but um, it's a really good condition flocked pet and I do not have this one. If I find a little pet shop that I don't have from this specific time period, gotta pick it up because that's kind of difficult for me to find. <laughs> and Little's Pet Shops are, um, have an obnoxious like scalper reseller community, so they're really difficult to find. Um, little Tinkerbell doll. Um, I thought this one was interesting because it's tank, but she has pink underwear on, so I picked her up because I was like, what's going on with you? But I don't know, Tinkerbell, she was free. So, <laughs> no big deal. And then um, there's a few more things in here, but we're gonna start on the My Little Ponies now because there's, Oh, um, I guess I got Skylar's jacket too. <laughs> um, the seller was throwing stuff in, so I guess they threw in Skylar's jacket, so that was really nice of them. Um, I keep saying them, her. Um, pony time, pony time. I left with a lot of ponies. The, the owner told me that somebody a few days earlier left with like triple what I got, so I can't even imagine what they got because I'm really excited about what I got. Reminder, I have not actively collected ponies or been involved in pony collector spaces since I was like 14 or 15 years old and I'm 22. I don't know all their names. Please don't kill me. Okay? If you want to be annoying in the comments, just type it into notepad and then put it in the recycling bin because that would be more productive than getting banished from my channel or just getting a snarky remark from me. Okay? Or you can comment because it will boost the video. Anyway, <laughs> it's just annoying because it's like like you could let whatever anyway this is goldilocks i bought this one because this one has a better conditioned body than mine um crazy that i found two goldilocks within the span of a couple months uh because this was a mail order pony and she's amazing um i'm really excited about goldilocks look how cute she is oh my gosh and this one is like so much more pristine than mine uh, i do need to fix the hair but she doesn't have all those stains that mine has so i'm really excited to fix her up because uh, I did fix mine up really, really nicely, but she still has some pretty prominent staining or discoloration in certain spots where stains were removed. So that one is going to be a good one to have. This is one of the, I believe this was from the Sunday Best line. Is that what it was called? The ones with the 3D, um, like, ice creams, confectionery cutie marks? I don't remember. Um, is a confectionery a cake? What would you call, like, ice creams? Like, frozen desserts? I don't know. Um... <laughs> really really good condition on this one again these ponies are really interesting the the seller told me they were all from the same owner this one says 55x on it um maybe this was pony number 55 in this person's collection um they were all in really good condition but the hair was very messed up but the bodies were really really clean so i'm not really sure what's going on with that um but i'm very excited to fix their hair although i do have like 600 other ponies who need their hair fixed so yeah <laughs> all right then this one is one of the ones that has like it could be rust, it could just be some like dirty something that got in the hair, but, um, and then it looks like also maybe some marker or possibly that's the original hair color. I thought the original hair color on this one was quite pink though, so I'm not, she might've had a yellow streak now that I think about it. Um, but this is a twice as fancy pony. I'm not gonna attempt the names unless I'm 100% confident because I don't wanna get annoying comments. And then this next one is another Sunday best pony. Um, oh. This one, do you smell good? Do I dare smell the 40 year old toy that I bought from a like used toy store? Oh, she does smell good. Was that part of the gimmick? I bet it was. Um, really, really cute one. I love this specific pose from G1. Oh, hello. This is Coco Berry. So I know that one's name, don't I? <laughs> really cute one. And then we have, this is a G2 that I am pretty sure that I have. I have two G2s. And I was second guessing myself. I was like, maybe I don't have this one. I'm pretty sure I do, but G2s are my favorite. And I saw a G2 and I was like, I gotta get her. So I picked her up, but again, I'm pretty sure I do have this one. <laughs> pretty sure. This is the value of making an inventory of your collection, by the way. If you put it on like Google Sheets or something, you can access it when you're in public. I'm actively doing that for my dolls. And I'm currently at doll number like 600 and I have not gone far at all in my collection. Like I have not touched Monster High, Ever After High, Winx Club most of Barbie, my scene, like, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. I'm gonna do it as I unpack them later. Um, anyway, next we have, this one is from one of the family sets, I think, this one has a tag. Oh, this is Magic Message, okay, yeah, duh. So unfortunately you can't really use them anymore, but they used to have a gimmick where you could rub and then it would show something on the, in this case, the belly of the little bear, which is very cute. And this one's name is Cuddles? Yeah, Cuddles. I could have guessed that one. 
And yeah, you see what I mean about like the bodies are really, really clean and there's no like huge stains or anything, but the hair is like really fried. So I don't know, but I'm with hair to me on most toys. Like I prefer if, if I could pick slightly stained body or messy hair, I will always pick the hair because I'm not good at fixing stains. I know how to do it, but sometimes no matter how good you are at fixing them, they don't always come out or if they do come out they leave fading like it's just not pleasant um but hair boiling water does so much magic to hair and you be careful because Kineclon melts in boiling water and other doll hair types sometimes can melt but overall like especially with my little ponies because most of them use nylon the vast majority use nylon some of them don't um especially the recent ones i think they switched to polypropylene why Hasbro? Why? It's been so many positive years of doing amazing things. Why would you switch to polypropylene? What is wrong with you? Please. Think. Think. Please. So notice how these dolls, or they're basically dolls to me. Notice how these ponies, who are 40 plus years old, are using, well these are under 40, but you know what I mean. Um, they use nylon hair and they still look like this after all this time and I'm sure these were just in some kid's house I mean they were they were played with loved by some kid clearly this one's styled and then they were stored for 30 years probably and now they're here and they're still in this good of shape this is why nylon is amazing um, but unfortunately we are going the cheaper route now and everybody's using polypropylene and it sucks um, and then this pony is one of the brush and grow ponies, which are my favorites. Almost all of my favorite G1s are brush and grow. So basically, the tail specifically, you can wind it in and then it's supposed to like magically grow when you pull on it, or not pull on it, but brush it. Um, and then you wind it back in. So these are, I don't know why, but this gimmick just really is so much fun to me. She does seem to have some, actually, you know what? That must've been a price tag that, um, didn't get bleached or something but she seems to be a bit sun bleached actually um, maybe when I clean her it'll turn out to have been dirt from over time but I have no idea but anyway I love these ones I don't remember this one's name sorry love it love it um, and this is a normal brush and grow the princess brush and brush and grows have a little gem right there Alrighty, and now this one I picked up because I, I was looking at her and I was like that I mean Bowtie doesn't come in this pose. Bowtie comes in the Sundance pose. What's going on? Um, so I kind of, I was thinking either A, this is from a playset that I don't remember, or B, this is a Nirvana. In the My Little Pony collecting world, G1 specifically, Nirvanas are variants from other countries. And I was looking at her and nothing immediately jumped out to me except that because I know G1s that this was not how Bowtie normally looks. And I was right. This is a European release um, Nirvana. This is Bowtie from... I believe she released in the UK and some other European countries, but like, how cool is that? So I found uh, like three international release G1s so far. I have Princess, what was her name? Is it Princess Sparkle? Princess Sparkle's the baby, but I got that, um, the very strange one with the fiber optic crown and the glitter body um, and the saddle. That's from Germany, I think. Um, and now this one, and I think I have a couple of others. Or I have like a, lemon it's like a fruit themed one too that was really cool so i'm having decent luck finding foreign ponies this one has some pretty fried hair so hopefully i can um get this beautiful again but i'm very excited to have found a nirvana in in the wild that is really cool in the middle of alabama who who to thunk and she's really pretty i love the collector pose so i'm glad that a lot of nirvanas use it and then lastly i got two <laughs> i was thinking like oh if because this one's dirty and this one's quite clean, so I picked up two, but this one has like pony cancer. I don't know, I just was thinking like, I'm, I'll get both, I'll get both. That's, that's what I thunk that day, was that I will get both. Why not? Por que no los dos? You know, anyway. Um, now for the small things that are in the bottom of this bag. First of all, we have Daisy Joe G3.5 Ponyville Mini. I love these. I would actually say like G3 Ponyville Mini. Like I feel like I, pref I, I, I feel like these are more G3, but they came out G3.5, but like, I don't know, they fit the vibe of G3. I love these. I love these. I love these. I don't know what to tell you. These are amazing. 
gorgeous. I, I, it's kind of hard to find them secondhand, unfortunately. I haven't really checked for like resale values on secondhand auction sites though, so maybe they're not actually expensive. Um, next is this mop dog shih tzu. I don't know. I don't know anything about dogs. Um, cute. Sheep dog? Don't have this one. I'm pretty sure this one came in a two pack and the other one had her eyes showing though and that one wasn't there unfortunately, but a good addition to the collection regardless. And then the last things that I got, I was so excited to find. I don't think I caught my reaction on camera unfortunately though, but this is so, I think I explained it in the clip, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but one of my neighbors who um, was my brother's friend, but he had a little sister who was like maybe two years younger than me. But when you're like seven, two years younger is quite a considerable difference. Um, and these are called Zizzlingers and they were like these weird blind bag things. They had some kind of gimmick and they did Disney princesses and Katie, my neighbor, um, she gifted me three of them and I love them. I thought they were so cute. I played with them all the time. I thought they were so, 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 so cool. I had this exact Ariel actually. Um, and then, and I, my little, my stepmom had like, not my stepmom, my dad's girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, I don't know what's going on, but um, she had a Cinderella display going and I was like trying to be nice. So I was like, I'm gonna put these princesses there. I think that'll be cute. And now they're just missing. So I don't think I'm ever gonna see those again. And I'm really sad about it because I really did love them and they're special to me, but I've been wanting to replace them ever since. And I I wanna order them online. Like they're not really expensive or anything and I'm not opposed to ordering them online, but I don't know. I want all three of mine back. I think I'm just, I don't know. Um, hopefully someday they do turn up and I can get my originals back because I really, really did love them. I had gorgeous Mulan in her pink dress and mm, was it her green dress? Gosh, I'm losing my memory now. I'm sure I have a picture of them with me somewhere. Um, but anyway, I got Ariel in her mermaid tail. I got Snow White. I got Aurora in her blue dress, which I'm super excited about. That's probably my favorite from this set. Other than the fact that I had this Ariel as a kid, I think Aurora is the best one. Um, and then Ariel in her wedding dress and Cinderella in her wedding dress. So cute! Um, so this one's definitely the star. I really like this one. So cute. Um, so yeah, those are my Zizzlingers or Zizzles. They're called several things, but I'm not sure what the like actual name is. And with that, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if the audio quality's improved at all or if you hate it. And if you hate it, I'll stop using it. But I bought this because I thought maybe it would help. So hopefully it helped. And hopefully it's not making weird banging sounds every time I adjust. That's my fear. Um, and hopefully it worked at all so I don't have to re-record this entire video. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, if I had to pick like my favorite thing that I got... I'm so excited about Bowtie. She's so cool. So cool. Um, I think she's really neat. And I'm really excited about the Little's Pet Shops that I got. Like, this one's really, really cute. I love the freckles. People used to use this one in their Little's Pet Shop series when I was younger, which I was so into. I was so into Little's Pet Shop series. I used to make my own. Like, it was so fun. Um, and this one used to be a main character in a lot of them, so it's cool to have a famous one. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>